Hello everyone, I'm Greekluk, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Crestorio for episode 115, where we have finally started our production of empty antimatter fuel cells, so we can get the antimatter reactors going soon. But we're just working on improving our immersion plate production first, because, well, it's needed to keep stuff working. But we need a lot more purple belt, because we decided to upgrade some stuff with that. And that's just very expensive. But we are getting somewhere with the immersion at least. It actually seems like we are getting enough immersion powder down here now. Inside powder. Mm. Actually we have room in here for... What do you call it? Beacons, of course. So maybe we should do something about that. Okay, these red belts should at least always be full now. Now, do we just put beacons in to make this belt full at least? I guess so. Even though these underground belts are very expensive. Okay, uh, will this be enough, I wonder? These two now can't get rid of this stuff. Oh, but there are rules, of course. Okay, so still more needed. Oh, that's the last underground build. Great. Mm. We could also just improve the outgoing belt or the immersion plate build if we get enough production at least but yeah we have to peek on all of these and that requires underground builds and that is not gonna be very fast or is that not gonna be produced very fast you have four but that's enough for two beacons And put some of our build in here to make a couple more, I guess. That helps, of course. Let's just go all in on that for now. Okay. 18, so 9 beacons. Oh, actually, these belts are getting low anyway, so maybe we need to upgrade the input belts as well. I thought we would be good with the productivity, but I guess not. Because it's 3 to 1. We have 2 belts to 1, but we only get, what, 20% productivity? Okay. I think that is enough for a full red belt output, but I might of course be wrong. But we need more emicide powder input for that to work, and we need more belt for that. Because we spend it all on underground belts, of course. Actually, we have a lot of plate here. You get played and you get played. So now we are lacking like green. Because we're lacking like blue. Because we're lacking like lubricant apparently. Really?
let's go have a look. Just because I'm curious. I think it's just a matter of throughput in the pipes, but I might of course be wrong about that. There's not a lot here. So maybe we're just backed up on petroleum and that's why. Oh, they're full here. We forgot something, I think. Or we just routed the other way around. At least we once did. We don't anymore though. So that's the problem. Are these... Hmm, that one is backed up. Why isn't the rest of them? We have not connected the rest of them for some reason. Smart guy. Okay. Is this where we want it? Sure. And there we go. That should speed back up again. Then. Good thing we had a look at that because we wouldn't be getting any belts if that had gone on been left as it was. So, blue belt, where are you at? Oh, there it is. So now we're laying steel gear wheels. Okay, that we can do something about, I think. Hopefully we have enough steel for this, but we probably don't. Nope. So we do have a leg of steel. Mm. Steel is iron and coke. We did add some smelting for it. Wait, what? These are actually packed up. So we should have enough steel. That's okay then, I guess. Apparently need better output here. Wait, this is actually backed up. Okay, so now we need red bells. Oh, these also need to be upgraded. So much stuff can't keep up, keep up anymore. So now we are producing again, that's nice. I think we should get rid of some of this powder and raw emocide that we're carrying around. Oh, did we run out of raw emocide actually? I guess we did. We should probably productivity much with this plant as well. Even if we aren't putting the beacons in just yet, it would still help, right? With, at least with the, our shortage of raw in our side.
we are already running out again. Great. So that's not where it is. Down here. Nope. So these inserters are actually not fast enough to empty out the chest apparently, but Oh well, it really seems like we need more emocide. So maybe we should just utilize every deposit that we can see, apart from the one under our base here. We do have two more over here, two down here, one more there, and another one up there. Mm. Is that what we need to focus on now then? I mean, this looks. So, it probably is something we should focus on. Twenty seconds. Could of course just put more beacons around these. It's a bad, that's a bad trick at least. Let's just see what sort of effect that can have. And you have stone that you can get rid of, just great. Wait, crush us, will they crush uh, sand, by any chance? Yes, so we do have a way to get rid of that at least. I don't want to make a stone depot yet, just for the stone we get out of this. So yeah, we could also get iron or cover out of it along with the stone, but I think this is fine. Otherwise we would need a depot for that as well, which we don't want. Okay, beacons. We'll just move it a bit closer then. Oh, that sound. Oh, it can output to one red belt, apparently. Well, that's fixable with just putting a... Well, why is it only outputting to one build though? That's just weird. Oh, one side of the build, I mean. Seems like it's still limited, but... Just use robots for this, then the jet will also be better balanced. Make that a bit more, I guess.
just to get that one out of the way. So we have these come across. Okay, 900% extra speed here. That gives us 20% extra productivity. They already had 60% from our research. Is 20% more than those 130% mining speed? Not really, but maybe this is better as it won't run out as fast, I hope. I don't know how these actually work. 2.8 million. Will the mining speed just drop or will it just stop working? Oh, it says, of course, expected resources 2.8 million. Okay. I think the productivity modules are a bit better for longevity, but honestly, we probably don't need the longevity of that. So let's just go for speed. We have a need, a need for speed. How are we doing on used filters here? 1.57k. So we did something with these other places, right? It had other places, like putting a active provider in. Where are we filtering this stuff? Over here. Stone is actively provided, and the filters are as well. And then we need a storage chip only for those, because that should be prioritized over the empty oh, passive providers, right? I think that's the idea behind it. No, only filled. Then no active provider, so we'll Can you do this? I apparently took a drone. Now we're back up to 50. So let's... Oh, actually these are limited. That's not very nice when you request stuff to them. Should we also just product pay or speed up this? Oh, actually the robots can't keep up down here. Or what? That's 7.5k in here. We are only requesting 200 to each of those. Dang it. We could have had so much more from that. Oh, let's go and do something about it, shall we? These didn't get filled up. Hmm. We need to increase it, but we just need to make better inserters. I'm not sure. Why is this here? God, I was too lazy to get rid of it, of course, but it really shouldn't be there.
just going to do something about these while we go past them, because why not? We had two trains waiting here, so we want to optimize it a bit, I guess. How much blood do we have in enough, I think? That one isn't very packed up. This one is a lot more. Let's get down to the other inner side mine. Why do we have slow inserters up here, dang it? Okay, that should last us for a little while at least. Probably not until the train gets back anyway though, but for a bit. Mm, we were going to the other Hemocide Mine, of course. Anything we need here while we're here? Not really, right? Let's just have a look at these. They are going to fly. <laughs> Almost died there. Oh, we forgot the better insert, of course, but. This will make it better as well. And let's put in some, some robots. This will be fine as soon as they get this chest emptied out. We can just help them. Then this needed to be sped up. That is taking a lot of robots, so maybe we do need more. Let's just add in another 50 to be sure. As when these start to actually catch up, then they will be delayed. So now the train actually might not be able to keep up anymore, but that's a luxury problem. Let's just make sure that we still produce our Imosite stuff. Well, apparently we did run out for a bit again. Yeah, this one has run out. Is it full this time? Not really. Hmm, should we just make another pain? At least then we won't be bottlenecked by a train. How much can be in these 
2,000, 8,000. We can only have 6,000 in these in the chest for each wagon still, but um, let's just make another thing. That's why not. And that got copy pasted correctly. Let's give the other train a bit of time though. Well, actually, that might not be very helpful. One of them will be the one that gets most of the stuff anyway, and then the other one will just get up behind it. Actually, one of them should just be going to the one depot. Let's have you go to two, and then remove two from the other one. That should work a bit better. And then no time limit, I guess. It'll just take some time before it's filled up the first time around. And we don't have any radar up there. Wait, we did have a radar. Did I remove it or did I just move it out of power range? I removed it, okay. So for these to be able to fill up the train, we need 2,000 in each of them. We won't get that much, but unless the, we actually get a full warehouse on the other end, but It's still nice to be able to fill a train. Actually, we might fill it up this time. I think we will. Awesome. Yes. Well, that was a good upgrade. Let's hope it will keep up now. The train should get back before this is empty, but... The other train might not be filled as fast, though this should be as fast, right? 100 per second. Oh, this is as well, right? Yeah, okay. So they should be equally fast, actually. Good. That is set up. Those are loud. So we can start beaconing this up as well, if we want to. Because even if this build was full, it wouldn't be able to saturate all of these builds. But these are the main concern, and they're not saturated, okay. Oh well. We do have a lot of belt and underground belt, so we could probably start doing this.
was quite a bit of fun. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.